Hey, welcome everybody to the first episode of Rogue Tech Pirate Lance. Now, this series is based off of my original series. Um, I believe it was episode 25 where we finished off making a second lance. Now, what we've done is, if we go to our mech bay here, um, we're going to change our colors because I've the idea I've got for the second lance now, uh, it's pretty much all light mechs. We've got our Panther 9L, Vindicator P, a Firestarter PM, and a Locus LR. And the goal with this lance is that now that we're, you know, our mercenary company, we're sort of aligned ourselves with the um, sort of the rim or the, or the periphery uh, governmental systems. So what we're going to do is, well, my main lance is taking contracts and continuing along with my first series, just the plain out Rogue Tech series. The Rogue Tech Pirate is going to be slightly different. This one, we're going to engage in acts of piracy. So instead of taking contracts, quote unquote, we are going to go and pull off some sort of piracy missions of our own. Now we're going to have to perform them against the inner sphere houses. We got to, we want to make sure that the the periphery don't get angry at us because that's pretty much where we're going to be making our bread, or, bread and butter from. So we're going to be pulling off pirate missions where what we've done is we've changed the colors of the mechs to be basically pirate mechs. No markings. We're going to drop them in when we get intel and do things like ambush convoys and maybe raid some bases to get some salvage and, and um, whatever we're able to steal from there we're going to sell for cash which is the money that we're going to you would normally make from the mission that's what this is going to be so what we're going to do is we've heard about a convoy that's been um, that is scheduled to move be moving through a desert area so we're going to drop our mechs well ahead of when the convoy is supposed to be there and then we're just going to ambush them along the way so what we've done also is we've got a set of mech warriors um, our second set of pilots um, so we've got Animal, who we've just hired, um, Blank Spare, who we've had from the beginning. Uh, we've got Payroll, yep. who we've picked up during a sort of a role-playing incident. She's a noble that we picked up that um, we took her and a bunch of her friends to uh, a, um interview that we had with some pirates. And she seemed interested in in this sort of mech warrior life so now she's been a part of the crew she's only been on a couple missions but now I'm gonna put her in charge of a whole lance of her own to do some pirating and we picked up voodoo as well um, she's a good mech uh, good mech tech but because we've got animal um, this guy's service record he's like independent trader and he's a pirate recruit so he's got a little bit of um, underworld um, experience and he's able to find specials of black market systems so this is the guy that's going to be fencing all the stolen gear for us um, and I think what we're going to do is rather than rather than um, having blank spare become part of the team he's really a backup in case one of my main pilots dies so we're going to go and let's go to the hiring hall and see if we can hire one more mech warrior so let's have a look here we got buck we don't really have any money right now do we we got buck who's a merit commoner maybe not glass Merchant ship crew, discount to buy stuff at shops, pirate crew, um, chance to steal from the company, but he's also got an increased find chance to find specials. But I think he looks too much like Animal with the mutton chops, so we're going to try and find somebody else. Yes, what about man. Jasper here? Pirate recruit. Um, chance, yeah, so I think this guy's probably a good idea, another pirate. Um, Got a little bit high base salary is excellent. So we're going to sell a couple things here, and we're going to hire him on his crew. There we go, now we got enough. So let's have a look at Jasper yes, here. Commander. Wow, the voice is awful, but uh, the price is right, so we're going to hire this guy. New Excellent. Available. Now let's go back to our uh, barracks here, because we have a few mech warriors that can get some skills increased here. So we've got Animal. Um, can't really get anything else with him. We're leaving Blank Spear for now. Jasper okay, obviously has nothing to start with. Payroll, we're going to have multi-target. We're going to confirm her. Training complete. And then Voodoo down here. Uh, got enough to get Gunnering up one and Gus up one. We'll do that. Let's confirm this. Confirm, Commander. All right. So we're going to drop on the ground now. Um, going to send the le Leopard down, drop them off, and then we'll engage in a little bit of piracy. So we'll be right back. Okay. Welcome to the ground. We've had our mech shut down here 
until the convoy r was starting to roll by. Uh, we had a spotter on the ground that spotted them coming by, so we've just sort of powered up now. We're going to make our way over and try to intercept them before they were able to get away. I don't know what's all there. I know there's for sure four vehicles. Um, the scouts weren't really sure. All they saw was dust clouds moving, so we're assuming this is the convoy. Hoping, hoping it's not a trap, but we're going to move all we're going to move all our guys over this way and try and head them off over here somewhere. So we've got Animal and the Panther here with the missile systems. We got Jasper with the goofy voice down in our dagger. He's our scout. Payroll is our um, PPC master and the Vindicator pirate, and we got Voodoo set up in the fire starter. So it looks like they're peeling off to find out who, there's a mech, peeling off to find out who's coming. So we're going to move Jasper up. Um, so the question is now, is do we sprint through here and try and catch them off guard? Or I'm thinking that's what we do. We're going to be moving into the mineral field. We should be fine. So let's engage. Looks like we've got a power armor down here. And we got a back shot on him. Nice. And then we've got Urban Mech R10 with a cultivator and two vehicle flamers and a light rifle. And it looks like all our target vehicles are back here. So it looks like we're only engaging three people. Now since this guy can be dangerous if we don't kill him, we're going to do an alpha strike. Oh boy, that's really hard to hit, eh? What about this guy up here? A little bit better with the Streak 2s. But I think we're going to Alpha Strike this. The The pull point of our, our, of our dagger is hit and run. So he's moving in. Okay, a little bit more hits than I thought. Structure exposed, heat sink destroyed, nice. So the, the, uh, the um, dagger is basically a hit and run mech. It's going to move in, fire, and then move out. It's basically to get, just to get line of sight for everybody else. So now Animal's going to move up. Let's just move forward to here. Full speed, no target. And I'm thinking that LRM-20s, we got lots of ammo. This guy's got a 0.9% chance to hit. And a 14. We're going to unload. We got lots of missiles. Hoping for a couple hits. Maybe we get a head hit. Unlikely, we got one hit. Okay. Yeah, you're not hitting me in there. There's four chevrons of evasion in a mineral field. Good luck with that, buddy. Okay, Voodoo's going to move up. And we can target this power armor, so we're going to do that. And we got our flamer unit going here. This guy's so hard to target. Wow, look at those chances to hit. We're going to leave uh, the vehicle flamers out for sure. And these flamers will just fire the two medium lasers. <laughs> oh man. Five chevrons evasion in a min in a mineral field. Good luck with that. Okay, so we got an Ignis. Now what kind of armor are we looking at with these guys? A lot. So we're gonna need to punish these guys hard. Galleon. Okay, he's fast, so we need to get in there sooner rather than later. Dagger's moving off this way. My guys, let's yep. do this. Got to sprint it hard. Uh, let's go to here, I think. Okay. So next move is our dagger's got to get out of there. Okay, TBM launcher. That's a f five, I think, isn't it? TBM five launcher? It is, five of them. Not a lot of armor, so it's not too bad. Striker, probably. Good luck with that. Ah, oh, one hit with an LRM. I think that's the striker. Just stop. Yep. You're embarrassing yourself. What's the plan? Okay, you know what? I think Jasper is pretty secure there, so let's get Voodoo down here. We need to start getting in here and applying some damage to these vehicles. So let's do that. 
Uh, we're going to sprint down. Work some voodoo on these guys. Voodoo. So we're going to shoot the galleon up front. Uh, maybe not. 18%. 18. 18 on the striker. 23 on the urban mech. And what's this guy? Yeah. Let's just fire our lasers on the urban mech here. I copy. Yeah. The low chances to hit for our pilots is going to be a problem. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. I heard you the first time. You need to chase that guy down. So dagger's going to go after that guy. All right, Jasper. You're going to wait. That's how you can help. All right, let's get our lerms in here. And power armor, like almost no chance to hit. This guy's really low. 44, 44, and 44. So, I think probably this guy's got 85 on his side. Thunderbolt carrier's got the lowest armor. So let's try and kill him fast, if we can. Okay, so applied a little bit of damage to him, not much. It's a good thing they've got inex inexperienced pilots as well, or else we could be in serious trouble. So how do we do on this guy? Down to 19, okay good. Um, he is going to reserve his turn. So the vehicles are moving out. I'm really hoping that... Um, yeah, good luck with that. I'm really hoping that the uh, by the time the Pirate Vindicator gets up here, it'll be able to handle the mech and the uh, power armor. And what's this guy? Wolfhound. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Let's get payroll up here. So we've got an option. We've got multi-target on payroll. So this guy's got a really, because they're in the mineral field, they got a really low chance to hit. Uh, PPC could go after him. So we're going to multi-target. We're going to go with the PPC on Thunderbolt Carrier. And we'll fire our SRM streaks, probably at this guy, only because it's the better chance to hit. So let's do that. Let's hope for a hit. Nope. Oh, one hit, not bad. Thunderbolt Carrier is moving out. So I'm, I'm just worried about this dagger being up there by himself. As long as you're firing on that guy, I'm good. You're not going to hit him in the mineral field. Okay. What's the plan? plan is for you to get right up here and attack this guy. Sprinting. So we got to watch our heat now. This guy's got... Uh, half decent amount of armor. We're going to try and keep it on the side here. We're going to turn off... Wow, look at that heat. This guy wasn't made to be doing this. So, one pulse and one streak. Okay. So now we need to get up there fast. How do we do on the damage on this guy? Yeah, the dagger is a very vulnerable target. It's got max armor, but still the armor isn't very much. So we hit the guy where? In the front. Oh boy. Okay, so let's get... Waiting for orders. Voodoo moving out. Actually, you know what? What would it be to hit this guy in the back? Ah, really, really low chance. So let's sprint... here. I know it's adding our chance to our chance to hit from there, but we still need to... Uh, I'm going to take the chance and fire everything. We still need to get close to these guys, stop this guy from going... Oh good, one of the flamers hit. Excellent. That was 45 damage from the flamer. See, he's moving. Okay, he's coming in and engaging combat. Great. That's good for us. And he's exposing the the good side here so we can attack that one side. 
Okay, so I am going to reserve to see what they do now. Roger that. Standing by. So the urban mech, I think, is going to be a good target from behind. The PPC should be able to take care of them pretty well there. Jumping to get a little bit of evasion, hits with the laser, okay. I had to pull the uh, plasma lance off of the uh, fire starter because it was a little bit unbalanced, so I ended up pulling that out and maxing out his armor. So he's got a little bit more survivability now. So let's get Jasper. Let's keep you there for a second. Um, so Wolfhound is here. Animal, where can we get you now? We can fire on the Ignis. What if we get up right up here? That gives us open target to just about everybody, but I think we want to try... I think we should I think we should fire on that Ignis. He's got a lot of armor, but I think we need to. Um, only because if we don't, he may get away. Copy that. And we want to make sure we maximize our salvage. Taking the shot. All right, nice hit with that. And a good chunk of missiles, so it done enough damage to him. Hopefully most of that was in the side. 60 down. Or down to 60, that is. So the Thunderbolt Carrier could be a good target for the dagger this turn. Uh, I know he's taking damage. He's got about, I think, 19 left in the side. Yeah, 19 and 3 internal. So yes, we're going to hold off with you, you for a second. I want to see what we can do with this guy. We've got the armor. I'm not going to move. I want I want them to actually target this guy. So I want to multi-target. I think I'm going to use the PPC on the Ignis. And then I'm going to fire the SRM streaks on this guy. Roger. Let's hit. Come on. Okay, nice. Excellent. I'll take two hits. That's good. That's good. I'm happy with that. Back on the front again. Excellent. So, How might I help? what I want you to do this turn, please and thank you, is get your asteroid somewhere where we can cool you off. Let's move back here. I'm going to sprint Certainly. it because I want you to at least have a full attack next turn. I could risk moving it now and firing, but then the turn after he wouldn't be able to do anything. So the fire starter in this mineral field is going to be very difficult to hit, especially with four chevrons of evasion. So let's get... Who do we want to move first here? So the Ignis is down to 60 on the side. Light Thunderbolt Carrier is an easy mark, I think, relatively. And this guy has not been damaged. And this guy has just fired but did not move. So let's take Animal. Let's get you back here, buddy. Let's get you into the forest. And I want you to target, I think, the Ignis. Leaving the pulse laser off. Actually, you know what? Since we have to, to do that anyway, let's leave the pulse laser off, but let's fire everything on the side of the Thunderbolt and hopefully we kill him this turn. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so one down. Supporting vehicle destroyed. So the Ignis is going to move. Okay, so he's moved and kept his side towards us. So we're going to move uh, Voodoo up here now. Uh, I think we need to sprint. And can we get in woods here? We can. We can get really close to this guy and in the woods, turn our face. Sorry about the lag here, guys. I'm uploading as I'm doing this. So, all right. So let's do this. We're going to unload everything on this guy. Come on, come on, come on. 
Kill him. Yes. Nice. Two down. Enemy vehicle destroyed. It's urban mech. Yeah, well, he hit me with what? Flamer, I think? Yeah, he did. No, it's alright. I'm generating a lot of heat. You are generating a lot of heat. Alright. Reporting. So you're cooled off. Let's bring you back. And I'm gonna go right here, I think. I'll be there before you know it. And then what's left on this guy's front armor again? Twenty-eight. So we're gonna fire everything on this guy. Except for perhaps one streak. And hopefully we hit his front. Nope. Oh, we did. Excellent. That vehicle is dead. It is dead. Nice. That's three down now. Okay, so they're going after the target I was hoping they would go after. Vindicator's got good armor. Not worried about me? it. Yeah, they can't hurt you if they concentrate. Okay, so payroll's yeah. turn. We're gonna walk it back, get out of the Understood. the uh, view of that um, wolfhound, and get rid of our dis destabilization here. And we're gonna fire on this guy with just the streaks. Brother. Nice. So that that power armor didn't have a lot of armor on it. So, so striker here it comes. SRM twos. Connecting with a few on the dagger, but like I said, dagger's got maximum armor, so we're okay. Okay, so, dagger. Let's get you back here. And you are green light to shoot on the back of this urban mech. We're going to go with two streaks, I think. I don't think he's got a lot of armor, does he? 23, 23, 30. Let's just fire away. Okay, three hits. Not bad. The dagger, dagger's woefully underpowered, but not really worried about that right now. Okay, Voodoo. Yes, it's up to you to kill this vehicle, so we're going to move like this Head to now. keep our front to the max. Just going to walk it over, and then we're going to apply everything on this guy. That should probably do it. Nope. Good damage, though. Okay, Urban Mech. Uh, doing a whole lot of nothing. That's good. What's this guy at here? Really, really low armor on most places except for the front. So let's take Animal. Um, I want to keep you away from that Wolfhound. So let's see if we can get... Hmm. Not going to get enough turning as I... Was hoping for so let's do this. Understood. Moving fast. Gonna move down here, and we're gonna unload all our missiles on this guy. Um, can we use the pulse laser? We can't. So let's just use the missiles. Good number of hits this time. Did we kill him? Nope. But he will be going down next turn, so I'm not worried about that. We're well, gonna use the dagger to finish him up. Oh, melee boy, eh? Well, you know what? Allowing yourself to get your get shot in the back by a PPC is probably not a good idea. But we need to get our flamer over here. So, payroll. First thing we're going to do, um, we're going to walk it. Actually, no. I want to be able to see the power armor here. Where can we do that? Hmm. If we do this, can't see the power armor, but we can put one in the back of this guy. 11%? Oh yeah, because it's close range. So we're going to just use their SRMs in his back. Let's make him think twice about his life choices. The Strikers, I guess, deciding to engage rather than run. Which is fine by me. So I need to get that fire starter over to the Wolfhound. That's goal number one. But we're going to move okay. Jasper first. Let's get you over here, buddy. I want you on this vehicle, but we can't get it from there apparently, but we can get it from here though. As you wish. Alright, buddy. What can we fire on this guy? Let's fire these. Of there we go. No, you're gonna meet us here because we got some more salvage Enemy to get here. Destroyed. Now I know if they got messages out. They're gonna get reinforcements soon, so we got to kill these guys fast. 
and then bug out of here. We're only going to be able to grab a little bit off the ground here, so we'll do our best and get what we can. Urban Mech mistake, making a huge mistake turning his back to the fire starter. So let's get Voodoo down here first. Let's just walk him down. Great chances to hit. And we're going to do this. We're going to turn off both medium lasers, I think, and just go with the flamers. So a lot of damage. Left arm gone. 90 heat. I love the fact that this fire starter generates far more heat than it's supposed to. Yep, working on the panther. Don't blame you guys. That's what I would do too. But Standing by. animals got a plan. And that plan includes killing you guys. So we're going to move up here. No shooting, just running. Oh no, there's going to be some shooting too. We're going to shoot this guy straight in the back with both LRMs and the medium pulse laser. Because I want him gone. Boom. How do you like us now? Enemy down. We're not going to be able to pick a lot of salvage up off the ground here, but uh, we're going to do our best. Okay, so that guy's put himself in a precarious position. Why you would run like that and turn your back to a PPC, I don't know, but uh, sure. Come on. There we go. Fire them both. Okay, now he's got lots of armor, so don't really he doesn't really have to worry too much, but he will in a minute. Barely hit, Commander. Okay. Um, so we're gonna move Voodoo first before that other guy moves. We're gonna get right down in front of him. And we're gonna unload with the flamers. Um, and we'll leave the medium lasers off. So once again, this is our primary target for salvage. Wow, zero. That's a miss. That sure is a miss. Not sure what he's doing. Fleeing. Going after the panther, I guess. Probably a smart move. This panther can do a lot of damage to that. Uh, yes, Commander. So we're going to just walk it this time. Um, let's go to... Where can we go here? Let's just go right here. On my way. And we'll reduce this, the instability, or the instability, and we're going to fire straight on the power armor with uh, both LRMs. I know a 10% chance isn't much, but uh, all we need is a few hits, I think. He's got, like, almost nothing left up here. Well, he's got a bit left, but... He is unsteady now. Maybe we can follow up with Jasper and... Uh, I uh, just walk it back here, buddy. Remove the instability. Let's fire with both streaks. I understand. Knock down. Okay, payroll. Yeah. So let's just sprint here. And we're going to use our streaks on that guy up there. We're going to hold off shooting the uh, wolfhound right now. So we're just going to shoot up on this guy since we have a uh, open shot, and he's almost got nothing on his head, so let's fire for his head. Fire. Pilot lethal damage. Goodbye. Target destroyed. Nice. Not that we want power armor, but I mean, we can definitely sell any pieces that we get. And this guy's moonwalking. Yep. Crap. Don't have anything in the left arm, so it's not so bad. Yeah. This guy's still very dangerous. Alright, Voodoo, walk it back here. Yeah, we'll put all our flamers in the back of this guy again. Let's get him overheated here. Plus 60 heat, nice. He's not firing anytime soon. So, Animal, we're going to do a offensive push. So we go before this guy next turn. We're going to fire on his head with the LRMs. Hoping to make him unstable. What's the plan? So we're going to walk you down here. Be there in a jet. And we're going to do an offensive push so every good buddy goes before this guy. Going to go for headshots again, both with the streaks. 
not going down unless you hit him, buddy. All right, so payroll. I'm here. What's the chance to melee? 23, so not very good. So we're going to move back to here. On my way. And we're going to shoot at him with the streaks. Okay, I'm on it. Okay, so he's a little unsettled now. Not a big deal. So we don't need to move. Boot is going to go first. And we're going to flame this guy in the back. Got the angle. Taking the shot. Oh, we killed him. Crap. Well, okay. Now we need to bail out of here. Let's go, let's go, Sumeri. We gotta get the heck crap out of this place. Mission successful. Okay, so a successful mission for uh, our pirates against House Merrick. We ended up getting about 307,000 from selling all the, uh, uh, the stuff we were able to get off of the convoy. And we took a little bit of damage on the uh, Vindicator. We left, lost the left arm, not a big deal. Easy enough to put that back on. Um, but everybody else was pretty much okay. The Panther took a little bit of armor damage, but not much. And before House Merrick was able to arrive, we managed to salvage a little bit of stuff. So we got a couple of uh, components off of the Wolfhound. Um, we got a little bit of stuff recovered from the uh, power armor, SRM-2, a couple of Thunderbolt missile launchers, an exchanger, double heat sink, and some re reflective armor. So we were able to grab a bunch of stuff, which was great. So that pirate uh, mission was definitely worth it. Okay, well it cost us about 45,000 in repairs, which isn't bad because we made over 300,000. So that's just fine with me. All right, so we got a, like five days to repair. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. But um, we're not going to outfit these guys till we come back the next time. We're going to leave this because we're going to need to do our uh, do a mission for our medium mechs. And um, so what we'll do is we'll get that exchanger and double heat sink in, probably throwing them in one of the either the dagger or uh, the fire starters seem to be okay. The panther, we might put the double heat sink in there, and maybe we'll put the uh, exchanger in the vindicator. I'm not 100% sure yet, but. You know, we'll be able to do that. So that was the end of the first episode of Rogue Tech Pirate Lance. If you like it, please leave a like. And I'm planning to continue this series along with uh, right next to my main series. And if we're able to um, get a heavy lance going in the main series, then these guys might up upgrade themselves to a medium lance. But we'll see how that goes. But until next time, I'll see you later.